Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online on the Legendary server. Back we are over at Fela Crow, uh, probably not how we say it, but obviously we have our uh, Armor of the Isengard Dispeller now, uh, since this is the first time I've had a chance to log in in a little while, so that's nice to get. Uh, we also have our Hobbit Gift of the Day and of the Week before we start. We are very, very close to level 42 today, 9,290 XP. Hopefully we are going to make it there today in this episode but before that as i said we do have our hobby gift of the day rejuvenation potion and of the week is going to be a medium pile of silver scraps that's fine perfect so yeah let's go on to it i don't know if i can just i don't know if my volume's so weird that's a weird start no i can hear it okay i just thought everything was like really quiet for some reason um I just wanted to attack this guy whilst we think about what we're doing. So we are going to be trying to complete a couple of quests today. So we need to um, collect pea plants, which is going to be around here. And then we also have to finish off what we didn't in the last episode, where we're going to try and talk to Uthagen, um, which should be up here. The Light of Hope right there. Restoring the peas, which is still quite a funny quest name in my opinion and then uh, this one which we might not end up doing just because it's really quite far away I'm um, obviously uh, we can't really go past here without dying so we've got to be careful of that and uh, yeah that is until a couple of quests time uh, epic quest wise there is a uh, requirement to that I kind of see why they did it but at the same time it's kind of weird considering like you know I can technically go to Mordor the moment I start a character, or at least on the uh, main servers, not the legendary, since we do not have Mordor as of yet. It just kind of feels like a weird thing that is is in place, is the, uh, the fact you die just if you uh, go a little too far ahead of the story. But yeah, gonna collect some peas. Should hopefully be relatively easy. There are quite a lot of them. We need to collect 10 in total and uh, hopefully not get attacked. So we do need the XP. I mean, that gave us 310 XP, so in theory, if we can kill, what, you know, 30 enemies or something, and get that much XP, then we should level up. Plus quest completions, plus the fact we are definitely going to have to kill some enemies to get where we need to go to, to talk to Uthagan, then we are definitely going to be leveling up today. Let us hope at least. If we don't, now that I've said it, it's going to be a little bit weird. Um, all right, cool. So, how well, I many we got? Eight. Oh, that's a little awkward. They always make it so there's not exactly enough to complete it in one area. You do have to go a little further out. We could probably still do this without getting attacked, though. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know why it wouldn't let me past there for some reason. That's a very weird invisible wall, or maybe my game's just acting up, but this here should be our last pea plant. Hopefully it's just collect them and come back. Yeah, okay. So, with that quest, we hopefully, I'm going to assume it's around 3k XP. I don't know why. It just kind of seems like it's correct. I'm just trying to think as well. Is there any way of easily more easily getting in? I could, in theory, just run through. Um, I just wonder if there's, like, a back entrance. Because there's enemies around here, which clearly means something has to be accessible. If I don't find anything around this corner, I will go back, though. I don't really want to spend too much time. Whoa, what's going on there? I don't really want to spend too much time wasting... Or wasting too much time. Right, you can get out my face. Now, where does that go? Could we, in theory, somehow get up here and around? Or is this to where the coal is? Which I guess is fitting. We can at least get some coal. I know I said last episode I did want to get... Um, completing that quest. I wonder if I can... Okay, I was going to say, out of everyone, I would love to just have the scout get aggroed, but I kind of played that a little bit stupidly. I could have played that a lot better and been perfectly fine, but 
I didn't, because uh, it was a little bit dumb. Alright. But at least we get to the coal. Yeah, that's always good. These guys do drop Mathams as well, which is also good. Um, still planning on trying to complete this quest today, because I think it would be a little bit annoying to myself uh, if I say that I'm going to do something. So I'm really good at saying I'm going to do something and then not doing it, but... If I literally start off and ended off last episode going, hey, let's we're gonna complete the light of hope, and then never do, I think that's a little bit unfair. And it basically guarantees us leveling up to 41 today. Oh no, sorry, 42. I think at 42 we're gonna go start back on the epic quest for a little bit, just because we have had a couple of episodes where we have uh, not been doing that. So I think it's only fair. And also, we can hopefully complete this quest that allows us to, uh, you know, progress further in Angmar. Because, uh, it's a little bit annoying not being able to travel wherever you'd like. A little bit annoying. Alright, so, six, seven, eight, or actually we're probably getting better off going down to this one and then up to one of those. Just to try and miss the enemies. I'm always thinking like that. I'm always thinking, hey, let's do this so we don't have to kill anybody. But at the same time, that's why I'm so underleveled. Just gonna try and like almost take the pacifist route if I can, but it really isn't worth it. Alright, so we collected eight coal. So now we just have to leave this area without hopefully getting attacked, which is impossible because he is definitely going to attack us. So now we just have to go back around. Oop. Gotta be very careful. Or at least as careful as we can be. And now we have to just fight through this fortress sort of thing until we can get to talking to this person. Hopefully that's the last thing we have to do. It's not, but hopefully we can just sort of talk to who we need to go to and then complete that. Annoyingly, they're literally right there. And I can't talk to him through the wall, which is a little annoying. So we're going to try and lose aggro. Perfect. Just so we can grab aggro from here. I wonder if I can get that scout without... I can, good. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Why not? Does what it needs to do. We need a better bow. We really need a better bow. <laughs> I need a woodworker just so I can get a bow. <laughs> right. Cool. Would have been a lot quicker if I just aggroed all three, killed all three, been done with it, but uh, I'm stubborn, you know. And you barely took any damage. Which is a little annoying. Need to remember we do have this thing available as well if we want it. So just, if we need to, we can always switch to that. That's now what we have. So we got regen and everything on well, higher regen. And then we just got to be careful of all the others. So then we switch to that. We get the extra might. We get the extra damage. Plus, um, you know, obviously the generally higher stats. And then in between we use that health regen, which is entirely the reason we actually got it. These guys are really good at knocking me out. They're only, well, two levels above us now. Hopefully not for long. They can then be one level above us and then we're pretty fine. Like we can take on them multiple, multiple of them. Oh, really? <laughs> we can take on multiple of them. Just uh, right now at level 41. So we're just going to get that ever a bit closer. But the fact they're knocking us out constantly. Um, 
I need to look into the mechanic of that, like what would be the best way of like stopping that. I think it's just armor, but I'm not entirely sure. Or like just general items, I think. Uh, Master Metalsmith scroll case. What should we chuck? Oh, let's use a Mathem. I want to get like, as I said, quite a few of these. Send them away, obviously, but I just need to get that uh, crafting stuff up. I can probably get past you. Nope. I thought wrong. Ah, oh, really? Come on. Yeah, they're really good at knocking my sword out my hands. And just, yeah. If anybody knows this game better than me, which a lot of people do, can you just tell me what, like, how to protect against that? Because I don't get it on, like, any other character, it seems, except this one. Like, I don't know if that's just because, like, my other characters are mostly above the level of the places I'm in. Or what, but... Yeah. Say that or I'll have to look it up. I don't know why I use that. I actually have no idea why I use that. There was no reason to. Uh, da, bracing attack. Then we're going to have to use fight on. Because morale is low. And then just quickly put that on. So we get that nice 8,000 morale regen. Where is he? Do we have to go around? Do I have to go there, there, and around? Oh, that's really awkward. Right, health regen's at full. That's interesting. It's gone back to... F uh, it's gone back to, like, full cooldown looking thing, but the cooldown is still the same as before. So in theory, like, it should be look like it's a quicker cooldown when it's not actually. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Totally should realize this from the map that tells me where everybody is. Alright, we'll ignore you guys because I really don't want to have to deal with you. We've got some forgotten text. Right, you three. If I can ideally get you separate. Then I can just deal with two on their own, which will be fine. Come on, please. For me. Cool. All right. And then we just have to get to you. Hopefully you're the last one, because then we can just kind of ride out of here. In style, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and then we want to. Uh, I'm going to just put this on because I don't trust going in here. It's definitely not the last one. I know that for a fact. You come at a oh. Time. You speak for me of rebellion? Tell that to my family, taken by uh, that name. On the charge when they are planning to an uprise. Uh, that dog knows who. Uh, it was I who aided Una in that, and it took my family instead as a warning to me. Okay, so I will come for you myself and teach you something of despair. So we're going to put that on and just hopefully not have our swords knocked out of our hands because, oh, well, I said it, didn't I? Actually, to be fair, we didn't get the, the sword stuck out of our hands. Right, he just wants me to leave. I'm going to take this wooden chest first, though. Right, cool. Uh, so, I don't think going through there gives me any favors whatsoever. Oh, I do. It does. I have to go through there. Okay. So, we'll dismount. Um, located somewhere in the city. Uh, so, he thought to slay you. Uh, he, I'm going to give you the name of someone who might speak to a woman named Una. Okay, so we just have to kind of get through to that person now. Hopefully, they are more cooperative. 
I find it very hard to believe you get this far and not have all the supply crates you needed from the last quest. That is very unlikely. So we're just having Mathams basically. It's nice to hold on to the rep items, I guess. Um, eventually we're gonna get max rep with the Mathem Society. Where are we at? We're acquaintance right now, so we do have to wait a little bit. We currently kindred with them at least, so that's good. But yeah, I'm gonna... Should hopefully be able to kind of weave my way through. There's gonna be a few enemies I do have to kill, like this scout. Um, but not many that I'm gonna have to worry about. The only issue is gonna be getting out of here. That's gonna be our biggest concern. Um, but more than likely, we're gonna get another quest given to us at the end of this. Because uh, it makes no sense to be given like a talk to this person and then that be it. Like that that is not the end of a quest chain, that's not how that works. Okay. The difficulties we face. Oh, so, I hate these because it's always like you must complete the quest to use them. I guess it's so you, you can't even bind to they bind to acquire or on acquire, so you can't even like trade them over. So there's no real point to that. I have no room to do that. Hmm. Can get rid of this shield that I have no use for. This sword, at least. There we are. Call for allies. We have a bunch of quests here to give in. Uh, that is a fellowship quest. No, thank you. It's also a fellowship quest. No, thank you. It's also a fellowship quest. No, thank you. Um, oh, I guess that's kind of cool. You get uh, this is the sub like oppression joke, and that's the like quest chain. I guess I know that totally makes like it's like of course that's how that works, but uh, sometimes don't think about it like that. Can I just get out of here through this gate? Please tell me that wasn't there before, or it was locked before. I'm going to be very upset with myself if that is not the case. That makes life a lot easier. It probably is a case of it's just like opened up now that I've completed it. That would make sense, but I still have to kill some enemies. But beyond that point, we are now level 42. Uh, I'm going to have to kill these guys, aren't I? Um, we are now level 42. That's always good. Um, we have a new sword, which is uh, not as good due, due to the might fact, um, I'll be honest. I think for a little while, crafted stuff is just going to be our best chance because it seems stats are just completely wrong, almost. It seems in this sort of time of the game, like this, this uh, expansion sort of a bit. Or this region. I do not know what will right, cool. Now I need to talk to Cranog. So we're going to finish off with that. Let's go all talk to... Uh, well, I need to go to Felicrow to talk to these two. And then we're going to talk to Cranog. And then we'll finish off for the day. Um, but yeah. It just seems stuff is really mismatched. And I don't really know why. It's very confusing. But... Uh, yeah, crafted stuff seems to be... Well, even crafted stuff's a bit iffy. Like, medium armor, medium crafted armor seems to be better a choice than heavy crafted armor in some respects uh, early game. Just because stat-wise it goes towards... Like, the armor isn't massively different. Like, the armor, the actual stat. And you can just get a lot more might just due to that. Please don't do this. Um... Uh, <laughs> But, yeah, yeah I, I don't really know. It's a bit of a weird one. Gonna just have to look into it a bit more often. But we'll go back to Felicrow. Do we get any more interesting items? Some peas picking gloves. Some peas picking gauntlets. It gives us fate and in combat morale regen. We get a lot more in combat morale regen with what we currently have. Less armor uh, with our heavy stuff than our medium, but there is technically a. 11 uh, item level difference. 38 fate would be nice if I didn't already have something with might. If I was going with something that just was 604 armor and, you know, maybe a jealousy or will and the um, 240 income or origin, I think about it, but definitely not worth it. They're both literally the same stats. Okay. 
Uh, fuel for the forge. We've got lucky coal, which seems to be a nice pocket item. 23 fate. Uh, a lot less uh, non-combat morale regen, but we do get some non-combat power regen. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's worth it, but I definitely don't think so. No vitality extra, uh, which we get from that. So this definitely seems like we might put it here, but it's less likely to be used. And restoring the... Oh, call cool for allies. No, we don't get that. So lucky coal. I don't have any item space. Of course I don't. I need to get rid of some. Please. Uh, standing some games. Please, please, please let me buy more space. I'd love that. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to lock that so I don't accidentally sell it. That is how that's going to go. And then counter. It doesn't actually matter what you give me, to be fair. They're not good either side. Uh, but that's 7,000 XP. That's good. We're just slowly uh, at least using up that bonus XP, which is good. So this should finish us off when we get back. And then, as I said, we shall be finished for the day. Next episode, uh, we should be uh, picking up with the... Um, Epic quests, because this seems like maybe more of a uh, end of a quest chain, and then maybe having a vector, or it maybe it might be a case where we have to wait until like another quest gets completed or an epic quest gets completed for more stuff. I'm thinking I might turn these uh, fellowship quests off, like uh, cancel them, maybe. I'm just going to be wasting space for the moment. Because really, legendary server wise, not particularly happy with doing that. I should probably finish these quests. They don't do anything for me, but I should probably finish them. Because I mean, they're done, which means, you know, I can either get rid of them and then that's wasted time, or complete them and at least get some XP. Alright, let's finish that quest 4,158 XP, but that will be because we used all of our bonus XP, and that is the end of a. Uh, Quest chain. Do you have a quest? Apparently, these guys all have quests. What's going on here? Will you hear my sorrows? A lost fellowship. Are you going to be the same quest? No. Nope. Okay. Interesting. A lot of quests around. Probably a lot of them we're never going to have to really worry about because I think we have completed. Have we not? The Angmar. Where is that? Have we completed Deeds of Angmar? Yeah, Marching into Shadow Final is already done. Let's have a quick look at, I can't remember the ranger's name. It's not Golzair, but it is Coronair. Let's see what his quest was. Greetings. Defeat the spirit of the ancient watching star. I think this is literally the quest we have to do to complete. Uh, you can shrug off worse effects of the fell watching stone's oppressive will. I think that is literally that one quest would have stopped us dying that one time. Um, and then hopefully some decent stuff that might change out for Stantrix bracelet maybe but again need to look into crafting stuff because um, we need to look into that see that's light armor I guess we're wearing light armor anyway 42 might 26 vitality some fate maybe it's worth switching that out maybe 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 but it's probably a lot better to get some level 40 ish um, uh, heavy armor that would probably make more sense, assuming stat-wise it actually is what it should be. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.